Island. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So we're going to be doing the Infinite Achilles Villains Marathon Gauntlet. I'm going to let the other me explain it. All right, so I have the section of B, so I'm just going to be explaining it here. So the first row that we see all the way there, that's going to be worth one point. This next row where it has basically the Cho Z layers, that's going to be worth two points. Then after that, there's the GT section, which is going to be worth three points and four. So one, two, three, four. Makes sense, right? So for every time that Achilles wins, it'll get that amount of points. So if it defeats two there, one point. Two, 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 whatever. You get the idea. However, if at any point it loses, it'll be minus the same amount of points. But I will do a redo in shield. So let's say it somehow loses to this pair and it's minus two. If shield manages to make a comeback, it'll get that two back, and then after it just won't, it'll just be zero, obviously. So we're gonna see how much points can Achilles get. I, I thought this would be a cool thing, the villain gauntlet. Uh, although, you know, obviously some of them aren't technically villains or whatever, but I just had to get bays to fill it out, so it'd be cool just to do two bays against one. And yeah, leave a like and leave a comment, and please subscribe. So with that being said, we're gonna get started. Our first two are going to be Lost Longinus and Lost Longinus. So this is definitely going to be interesting uh, for the pair of two bays that we chose. Oh, one burst. Two bursts already. All right, so managed to take down Lost Longinus uh, very, very easily. Wow, that was a lot quicker than uh, I thought. All right, well, that's already one point, so Next up, it's going to be Twin Nemesis and Twin Nemesis. Actually, yeah, I'll probably get the other twins first. Can it take down them both at once? It's going with the hits. Green's down. But can it take down the original Twin Nemesis? Wow, it actually can, huh? All right, well, the twins are down. Next up, it is going to be, I'll mix this one. So what, what rotation is this? Left, what's this? Right, okay, that's actually gonna make it really cool. Okay, we've got Requiem and Legends. Okay, now it's just Requiem, Never mind. No, it was cool because they're both in opposite spin. One is in right spin, the other is in left. I think Requiem actually is in left, so it maybe goes to Requiem. I'm, I'm honestly not that sure. But uh, it will be cool to see. Oh, well, I guess we're already gonna do. All right, so I guess that's minus, minus one. I believe that's how we have it formatted. I believe it just lost that one. So we're gonna do shield now. You see, that's, that's why we do the series. That's why we do it. So Requiem's got to manage to not lose. Same thing with Legend. It's already doing a good job against uh, Legend Spriggan. Left Requiem and right Legend. It might lose, though don't forget, it doesn't really matter what bay it is, if it spin steals, it can probably still do it. All right, so that's gonna be nulled. So even though uh, Sword lost, uh, since it managed to beat it in shield, it's just uh, zero now. All right, so we're gonna switch this back to Sword. It's actually a really cool format. Cause you know, it's, it's interesting, it's interesting. You know, there's actually like, it's challenging for Achilles to go up against these bays. I mean, not these bays right now. Once we get to Chosey, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. Arc Bahamut, speak of cool Tim. So keep in mind, some bays might not technically be evil, but I just wanted to put it regardless. So Gakulkin and Arc Bahamut are clashing with Achilles going around. So the thing is this, if Achilles waits, it could have a good chance to take down uh, Arc Bahamut. Although Atomic does have some pretty crazy stamina, so I don't know, we gotta see. Am I already gonna be getting a shield again, or? Nope. That is Achilles. 
So it manages to get a point. So, so far, doing pretty good. All right, next up, it's gonna be the Cho Z section. So we're gonna have Yellow, Dead, uh, Yellow Revive Phoenix and Green Dead Hades against uh, Achilles. The armor has already gone out and failed from the looks of it. So we're gonna see who's gonna take it between these two. Achilles, Hades, Hades it is. A little surprising, so now we gotta see if Achilles can make up for it in uh, shield, otherwise it uh, will keep a loss. It will keep the, what are we at now? We're at Chosey, so that'll be minus two. Ah. The Phoenix, oh, he's already trying to do a sly trick on us. Hold on. All right, oh, a big hit between the two of them. Should made them lose a chunk of stamina. So it's gotta manage to null out that point that it just lost. Get it to minus two, ooh. So, so far it's at negative points right now since it uh, lost to those two in both. All right, next up it will be Red Hades in Purple Phoenix. I'm actually really liking this a lot. This is actually really cool just doing these battles. I mean, the, I mean, Chozy is the longest section just because I wanted to use a lot of Chozy. But uh, yeah, dude, this is really cool. Purple Phoenix, 10 wave and Red Dead Hades, level tip sting, high blow dash. It's the toll base. So can it defeat this new trio of bays? Let's see. Hades is down, but is Phoenix? Is Phoenix down? Phoenix is not. So it's gonna happen. You see the Joe's E section, I knew it was gonna be the toughest. So now we've got to put on shield and see if it can null out the points that it just lost. It just lost points. It just lost it. So this is gonna be really cool. Hades, Phoenix, Achilles. Off to a really good start with Achilles. Oh, a good slam into Phoenix, but Phoenix manages to counter and hit Hades. Now Phoenix, Achilles has just used Phoenix to hit onto Hades. It's not looking good for Hades, but Achilles has to hold out, and it does. So it does not lose any points on this one. It is just null, so it doesn't win or lose anything. We'll probably put that in the null effect, and then after we got lose. All right, next up, we are going to get a big surprise, uh, Phoenix and uh, Hades once again. This time, the actual ones, although this one has zero atomic since uh, I did switch it, I guess. So these are gonna be our pair of maze that we're gonna get on. I'm just gonna get swords on in a second. So, so far Achilles is doing pretty good. This is just a little bit of commentary as we're setting up uh, for the next battle. So enjoy the Hades and Phoenix. Okay. Now we're actually gonna get started. So it's gotta to manage to take down Phoenix and Hades. Oh, the armor comes out. Does not really touch Achilles that much, so it's looking good for Achilles. Achilles uses Phoenix as its assistant to actually take down Hades. Evil Revive Phoenix is down, but can it take down dead Hades? It does. So it officially now gains back two points. So I, I actually think, I don't even, are we at zero right now for Trinity technically? Because they lost to they got null and they won. Okay, well anyways, next up is going to be, what do we got, what do we got? We're going to get Revive Phoenix once again. And then after uh, Aegis. So this will be fun. I guess Polish uh, Guard, I guess. I mean, it's already looking good for Achilles, but is it gonna look good for 
That that might actually help Aegis. That might actually wow. No. No way! Wow, so I guess it technically lost that one. Um it managed to one-shot Phoenix though, so. Yeah, we're at minus. We're at minus now. So we gotta now just null it. This is actually kind of a cool gauntlet. It's a lot tougher than I thought it'd be for Achilles. Alright, we're at shield. So now shield has to uh, go up against these bays. So Phoenix has lost its armor. Unfortunately, Achilles is hitting it multiple times, so we might be looking at another loss of points. If he manages to make up, that's going to really save it in this video. Gotta take down those two. It's using Phoenix against Aegis. Can it take them both down? It does! And it manages to null out the points. You're going to be hearing me say that a lot in this video, most likely. So that duo is defeated. So many Phoenixes, man. So many Phoenixes. Okay, so that is the null section. So let's move them just there. All right, whatever. Next two is going to be Green Dead Phoenix and Hazard Kerbeus. This is gonna be fun. The greens. So we're just gonna get them there for a moment. All right, so we got Phoenix, we got Kerbeus, and now we got Achilles. And, okay, there goes Kerbeus. And Phoenix with a burst finish. So we just garnered uh, two points there. I have no idea where Kerbeus went. The lay okay, I see it now. Okay. Next up, it is going to be Kerbeus and Perfect Phoenix. This is going to be fun. Yellow Kerbeus. It's got to manage to defeat these two bays, but it's not going to be easy. Ah. I mean, sort of like that. Okay, well now it's just kinda, yeah, okay. So it has now just gained two points. Oh, this has the normal merge, no wonder. Normal two points. So Achilles on a roll right now. It's on a roll. It's winning a considerable amount, a considerable amount. So next up for the two that we have, or whichever ones I'm gonna grab, I might be missing out. So we have Amaterios and we have all those left. So let's do Kerbeus and Amaterios. And we'll leave out with Phoenix in on guard. And Shadow Amaterios. Two attack types in the stadium going around. Can Achilles, two bays, with, it, with aggressive attack movements. I just realized Achilles is balanced high, but it still manages to win. I regret nothing, nothing with that mistake. Okay, we got the finals for the Cho Z section. Wait, no, yeah, no, we got the finals for the Cho Z section. I don't really care at this point. I guess this is gonna be so easy to take down. Oh my god, kind of like that. Okay, well now I just gotta like manage to outlast Phoenix till the end. Oh man, it doesn't. The last two for the show Z section. So the armor has been used against Phoenix right now. It's kind of two against one, so I'm a little bit worried. No, 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 yeah! So those points are nulled out, so it doesn't win or lose, obviously. So somebody's probably gonna do a better job of following the score system that I just made up, so just in case I made any, any big mistakes. And if I ever missed one, 
then I, I guess it will just count on a loss. So the next one is going to be the GT section, so this one's going to be fun. It's Genesis and Apocalypse against Achilles, the two infinity bays. Dear God. Oh man, that, uh, that was rough. Yeah man, that was, that was rough. So it, funny enough, it manages to like burst Genesis, but at the cost that it just lost that match. So unfortunately, it does count as an L. As cool as it was that it just like slapped around Genesis very, slapped around Genesis very easily. We're gonna have to put on shield, but you know, I've been doing like the tallest mode for the longest time. I think now we're gonna go to shorts, just to see. So you know, the stakes are up right now. It's gotta, it's gotta get the rest of these because I feel like it's been losing quite a bit. There hasn't been getting any points. And at the end, I guess we're gonna see the high score. So Apocalypse is being useless as usual to Genesis. So two Infinity Bays against Achilles. Apocalypse is down. So it's gotta manage to not hit Apocalypse for more. Ooh, I used Apocalypse to help it. And that is Achilles. So it doesn't win or lose. I mean, it won the match, but you know, like if we're, if we're doing plus two or minus two, then it's just uh, nothing. All right, next up, it is going to be, this one should be pretty easy for it. It is Bahamut and Bahamut. So that is Dread Bahamut. That is also Dread Bahamut. It's got to manage to defeat the two of them. So what Achilles really should do is wait for the moment when the other Dread Bahamut weakens the main one. Or, or it does that, or it does that. So now Achilles has got to manage to survive, but unfortunately I don't think he's going to beat Dread Bahamut. Or it does, does it? It does. So it just took down the Bahamuts. So now the last one for GT is going to be Big Bang and Big Bang. Or excuse me, Perfect Prime Apocalypse. Or perfect Apocalypse, actually. Yeah, Perfect Apocalypse is now the official name for it since TT uh, just put that out there with your terminology. So Perfect Apocalypse. So far, Prime is still useless, or Perfect is still useless. Ooh, that goes to Genesis. So now Achilles has to manage to take down two of these bays at once. It's not gonna be easy. It's all on its low lonesome. Apocalypse has tried hitting Achilles to really nothing. Genesis has now activated its hybrid. Ooh, Apocalypse has just managed to block out Genesis' onslaught. However, with hybrid, this should be easy for Genesis, unless it does manage to null out the points. All right, we're getting to our final section now, which is Chozetsu. So it's got to manage to get these points. GT, it fumbled. It fumbled on GT. All right, this one should be super easy. Dude, this, this has got to be easy. We got the two first Uranus bays. One of which bursts with barely any contact, so. Yeah, kind of like that. All right, so. Yeah, now it's just got to defeat the anime. Oh, okay, well, yeah, it's already done it. All right, well, how many points? How many points are we at actually now? Wait. So I just did layer. Okay, so the GT ones are worth like three points, dude. I didn't even realize that. Oh god, so I, it's not even two. It's three. Oh. Hmm. Oh, so now we're at four. So dude, just got four points. All right. Well, our last one is Rage and Lucifer. This is going to be very impossible for Achilles, but that's why it's. That's literally the reason why I chose those bays.
Ooh, so it really cannot be affording to attack Rage, but if it manages to pull it off, Achilles will be able to have completed the villain gauntlet. That is so dumb. That is so dumb. Curse you, spin equalization. Curse you. All right, well, I mean, now we got to slap on shield. This is uh, really not looking good for Achilles right now. It's pretty much got almost no points during each of the stages, but it's our final battle, so all or it is for everything. It's for everything. It's got to win. A lot of stakes on this match. I think, so it makes sense. Achilles only will lose if it's in negative points by the end of it. So after we tally up everything and we minus it by its losses, if it's at negative, then it loses. But if it's in positive, then it technically completed the gauntlet, although with a low score. Oh, so it lost both. Wow. So this was the villain gauntlet. Personally, if you want my opinion, don't like how I just use personal. Oh, yeah, she did. Whatever, you need to get the idea. Uh, this was a super fun thing to actually pull off. It does take a while to set up, admittedly, but I think the payoff is huge just to do all these battles. So, for the next one, I was thinking of maybe doing Hyperion and Helios, and it'll be a 2v2 in the Villain Gauntlet, but you let me know your thoughts in the comments. What bays should I remove? What bays should I still keep? What are your thoughts overall? Thank you for watching. Have an awesome, amazing day.